Tonight, after a couple hundred vlogs and a journey through Canon and Nikon and Panasonic and Sony, we talk about the best vlogging rig for $1,000 as of now, December 2nd, 2017. Let's roll that intro! <laughs> Top, top shelf. I'm actually amazed you're still here. Anyway, let's get into this. Now, quick bit of background, done a couple hundred vlogs, lots of tech reviews, different things on here. I started off on Canon, and then I went to Nikon, and then I went to Panasonic, and then I went to Sony. I've also used a number of things for video. You can use your phone for vlogging, and that's fine, and if you have nothing else, that's somewhere to start. The problem you're gonna run into with your phone is, as soon as you start running out of light, the, the quality of the video goes terrible. And if it's windy out or you don't have some kind of mic, the audio quality is usually bad. So a lot of people move from their phone to something like this. One of these like premium point and shooty cameras where you can like, you know, like selfie mode look in here. Um, the problem with these cameras, well, they're great and they've got a bigger sensor. They're much better at low light and they can do some nice shooting is the audio quality on them is just not great because you can't put a little microphone on. So you've got like two little dots on the top. The other thing that you typically run into is they're fairly shaky because people don't usually put a big tripod on because they're small and they want them to be inconspicuous. And the video ends up being like, ooh, ooh, as they shake it all around. So you can use this, but if you're actually looking to get into, let's say more of like a cinematic quality vlog or a little more flexibility for the things you're gonna shoot and wanna look a little bit different, especially with vlogging, I think it's so important to have a nice giant wide angle lens to show off your world these aren't always the best. They're fine if you wanna be an inconspicuous vlogger, throw this in your pocket, that's, that's fine. But that's not what we're talking about tonight. Tonight we're talking about actually building a vlogging rig that's gonna give you good picture quality, that isn't too shaky, that has good quality audio, and gives you some more flexibility in your style of vlogging being more cinematic or looking different from maybe what everybody else is doing. That's what we're talking about and our budget is one thousand dollars. Here we go. So Canon, Nikon, Panasonic, Sony, that's my journey. I'm actually going back to the beginning and saying don't use the Sonys that I have right now if you're starting out vlogging. You're actually going to grab the Canon SL2 body. Just, just the body. Now here's why that particular choice is when you're building your vlogging rig there's a number of things you want to be able to do. One, you want to have a screen that you can see yourself with. That Sony, no screen you can see yourself with. This Sony has a screen you can see yourself with. But you wanna be able to see yourself on a screen and be able to add a microphone onto your rig. Again, much better audio quality when it gets windy out there, you wanna be able to put that together. So Sony's don't have a single camera that has a selfie screen and the ability to add on a microphone. Panasonic's do but they don't focus as well as the Canons do. Canons have this wildly amazing dual pixel autofocus. It's just gonna nail the focus for you. Now, you could try Canons mirrorless cameras, their new M5, M6, M100, I don't remember all the intricacies of it, but they actually don't make a single one where you can have a selfie screen and a microphone and be able to put it on one of these tripods, which we'll talk in a minute why this is really important, uh, but only the Canon SL2 or some of the other Canon digital SLR cameras give you a selfie screen, a microphone input jack, and the ability to put it on there while seeing the screen. And so that trifecta makes it really, really nice for doing a higher quality vlogging rig. Now, the SL2 is nice because it is very compact. It's very light while still having that gigantic touchscreen. It's very easy to use, which is also good. The other thing about Canon is their color science. It's basically the, the math behind it is they figure out the colors, make people's skin look really, really nice, and you don't have to spend all that time afterwards in post-production figuring it out. So the Canon SL2 is kind of this wild, crazy deal, but don't take the kit lens. Honestly, like if we're talking about a $1,000 budget, you're gonna be way better off in these next set of lenses that I recommend. So, and it's also gonna make the case for Canon as well. This is the dual combo you want when you're starting out vlogging. An ultra wide angle lens. Ultra wide angle means you, you fit a ton in the frame. So even when the camera's close to you, it's not just like your face and your pimples and your zits that people are seeing. They're actually getting to see the whole world around you and get the context of where it is that you're vlogging. So if you're in like a cool space, like a, 
a cathedral or a castle, they're actually seeing what's going on around you. Or even just in a coffee shop, they get the whole vibe of the coffee shop and everything, and they're not just locked into like just your face. The other great thing is when you turn that around and you're showing off what it is, even if you walk into like a bedroom and you have a normal kit lens on, you only get to see like a little bit of the room, whereas the ultra wide angle lens will really get you to see that whole space, look at, make it feel monstrous and more like we're actually there with you. That's what ultra wide angle lenses do. Now, important point here. The Canon ultra wide angle lens, I think is $280 for a basic one. The cheap one, but it's image stabilized, it'll smooth out the footage and it works well. This Sony one, which is the cheapest ultra wide angle you can get for the Sony system, $750, $280, 750. Panasonic's basically the same thing. I think the cheapest one is $700. Nikon, why we don't talk about them is their audio focus isn't good and they don't have many good lenses that are quiet and good for video. So that's a big part of the Canon Plus is their ultra wide angle lens is cheap and it's good. So you're immediately getting a lot of value out of there. And the other one, the 50 millimeter F1.8, this is like the first lens pretty much everybody gets. This is a Sony one. This is $250. The Canon one's like $120 and it's great. Like it is great. The better thing is you can buy these in a kit together, the Canon kit, again, all the links for this are gonna be below. For $350, you get both of these. So skip the kit lens and the Canon SL2 becomes $500. And then the two lenses together, you're at $850 for a really, really cinematic kit. Why this 50 millimeter is important. Do you see how when I look at you right now, the background's blurry? Yeah, that's because the lens that this is shooting with is at f1.8 and it basically means it gets wide open, it's really good at low light and it can blur backgrounds out and make footage look much more cinematic. So if you're talking about something of, of doing a travel or even in your own home and you wanna show off the coffee or you wanna show off the flowers, you wanna show off the details, you put this lens on and suddenly you get this amazing shots where the thing that you're looking at is like, you know, wildly in focus and you see how everything else here is super blurry. It just like lets people focus on what you want them to focus on. It's amazing. So that kit together is going to give you everything you need to have really, really high quality, good looking vlogs. And we're only at $850 on the Canon system. $850 on Sony. Like this would be, uh, I think $500, 750, 250. So a thousand. So this would be like, I don't know, 15 or $1,600. And it's like half the price on the Canon system. That, that's why I love it. And this one, we still can't do the next thing, which is audio, good quality audio. You can watch mediocre quality video if the audio is pristine and still really enjoy it. But when you're watching like great quality video and the audio sucks, it's terrible. Like you can't do it. So you're gonna add this. This is a Rode Video Micro. It's $59 and it comes with this big furry windshield, which is another reason why these cameras struggle too, especially is they may sound okay inside and close, but as soon as it gets windy outside, it just sounds like and it's really hard to hear. This for $59 gets you a high quality microphone that sounds surprisingly well. I mean, I did a shootout with this $400 microphone you can't really see right here, and this held its own just fine for $59. And it comes with this, which is normally an extra like $30 or $40 add-on together, and it's nice and light and compact together. There you go, you've got good quality audio. So like $60 added to $850, we're at $910. And we still got some room to play. These guys. Why this is important, a couple of reasons. One is it's about stability. Anytime any camera you're just trying to hold with your hand, it naturally ends up being shaky because it's just hard to hold steady. But when you add a nice big weight to the bottom and something where you can hold on two hands or one hand, it inherently makes it more stable because your movements are actually like much smaller. Uh, and you're just able to be way more stable. So that's really important. The other thing you can do with this is if you're you know, talking to the camera, whether at your desk or at a coffee shop or anywhere, it raises it up closer to eye height. So it's not like you're looking down and you got this big, ugly double chin. You're actually at like eye height to be able to see what it is you're talking about. The other thing too is these are really flexible and they wrap around lots of places so you can stick it up in a tree or you can set it on the ground and keep your camera up off the ground and not have to worry about it. Or if you wanna be able to do something that's like smoother footage, you can actually like wrap this over your shoulder and then now you're using like your whole body to stabilize this. Meanwhile, you can adjust this so it's nice and flat and you're still looking at the screen and seeing exactly what you're doing. They're just, they're so flexible. So the new Joby Gorillapod 
three or something. I don't remember. I'll have it in the link below. Uh, looks good. And I think it's like $80 with this ball head, which is super, super handy. So we add that to the kit, $990. We got like 10 bucks left. Now we maybe could go a few dollars over, but memory cards. Uh, I like SanDisk memory cards. Why I say that is I remember starting off cheap with cheap memory cards. They said that they were fast and then one of them crashed on me and I lost all the footage. And I thought, that can't happen. So I ended up actually going to Lexar cards, which are also great. I had Lexar professional cards. I never had any issues with, you know, them crashing and losing footage, but I found that the 64, I had two different 64 gigabyte cards. And if I was shooting in 4K, they would just stop working. And one would freeze my camera and I had some issues there. The other thing I found out about them is they say they're really fast speeds. And that's true when you're just reading off of them. When you're actually trying to write data back to them, they're much slower than the SanDisk cards. Now you can get this. This is a SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gigabyte. This is typically what I shoot with. But lately I've been looking at buying, in fact, I ordered one on Black Friday, a 200 gigabyte micro SD, the smaller size with an adapter. And those work great too. And so you can get like a 32 gigabyte one, I think, which would be a lot of footage for around 10 or $12. So again, links will be below, but it's a quality memory card that writes very, very quickly, reads fast, will be reliable. And we basically got an entire vlogging rig kit for $1 thousand dollars and i promise you the footage coming out of this is going to be amazing once you get your skills figured out and that's what's really important is you can always switch systems if you want to later down the road but the most important thing is that you just get started but between the ultra wide angle lens and this 50 millimeter it's going to give you the creative flexibility to create some really unique images the camera that canon sl2 the video quality on it is good it's really good. The color science is good. It's going to be in focus. You're going to be able to see what you're doing. You're going to be able to do everything you need to do with this rig to be able to learn how to vlog with quality. And I think that's, that's really what you're after. I think Canon's going to release some new dynamite cameras in the next 12 months because they're kind of lagging behind, but I feel like they're going to like catch up in some of the more advanced technical features, which you don't need for vlogging starting out. But in the end, Canons are really desirable. If you need to sell it, you're gonna get most of your money back and it's a fantastic deal. So all of those links are gonna be below. I think it's the best place to start. I've been recommending it to people. A Couple different people have tried it out. They're enjoying it, they're liking it. So that is my recommendation. If you've got some other ideas for a better rig for $1,000, feel free to drop it in the comments below. I'll just warn you if you're gonna to talk to me about Panasonic, again, Panasonic ultra wide angle lenses, really expensive. Their focusing system isn't that good. If you're gonna to talk to me about Sony, which I, I love and I have, you can't get one that gives you a selfie screen and you can add a microphone to, so that doesn't really work. And Nikon's just not there yet on their lenses and their video quality features to be able to compete. And so I think Canon is just a good all around package for getting going. Any questions at all, feel free to let me know. My name's Justin, this is my channel. Like, subscribe if you want to. If you're like, this video is stupid, just move on with your life and never watch another one of my videos. No, there's lots of other good videos. Thank you guys, I think you're amazing. That's it, long video, peace. <laughs>